And here we are going to be talking more about money. But here also, as we talk about money, we're talking about self-development also. Because there's no way you're going to grow money without developing yourself. Because those two are intricately connected to one another. Right? Money is only going to come to you to the, in, to the extent to which you have a capacity to handle it. Right? If you, if you have money that you can handle, it's going to kill you. So to, for money to flow, just like we have osmosis, for money to flow towards you, there has to be capacity on your side for, the, for that money. Otherwise, that money will not flow towards you. It will naturally flow away from you, right? And flow. So, going into the meat of the introduction, being able to associate our self-identity with our money stories. You know, we all have stories. Generally, we have stories about our life. And Hannah, I've heard you say a lot during all our, our previous session. You have your stories. And some of those stories uh, empower you. And some of those stories also emasculate you, right? Depending on what that story is, it could either empower you or disempower you, right? And the, the beautiful thing about life is that you are the story teller, you are the story writer. So you can write the story in a way that will empower you. You have a choice. I mean, it's the same occurrence, but the way you spin it, the way you look at it can be such that it will empower you or not empower you. So you have to then make the decision to look at it in a way that will empower you. Because if you look at it in a way that does not empower you, it will not help you in your today and your tomorrow. It will become a limiter to how far you can go in life, right? Because life responds to us according to our story. Do you, do you understand what, 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 I, what I mean by that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So as you talk about money stories, also it's, it's, it's going to be also, it's, most of this is evaluating ourselves and saying, how did I get here? And how can I go from here to where I want to be, where I want to get to? So it's a bit of self-evaluation, getting to understand your stories, the limiting things in your life, why they are there, how they got there, and how you can change it or make or tune it in such a way that it will to help you to get to where you want.